had to make sure my earplugs were in for that first pass. <laughs> she is loud. Need, yeah, it's, it's loud. <laughs> we need a little bit of noise suppression, uh, more than what we got. But yeah. It is what it is at this point. We're going to go have fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell me what you're running in the car today. It's a 540 big block Chevy F3 139 Pro Charger. Nice. Uh, got a Marcella manifold on there, 16 injectors. Works really nice for running uh, eight of them to go down the road and have the truck once it needs it. They'll yeah. kick in and do what they got to do. You got a big fuel tank in the back for the trips? Fairly big. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to hold without puking, <laughs> but we're going to gonna find out tomorrow. Got a lot of street miles on yesterday. Yeah. So Good got the tune up. Yeah, I got the tune up fairly close. We're just going to keep auto tuning as needed. It's a beautiful car. Oh, thanks. It's huge. Our, uh, our big, big issue right now is just getting the the chassis tune up good, get yeah. the clutch tune up with that. And is it a newer build? It's a new build, yeah. I will say it looks brand new. We started it about nine years ago yeah. with this in mind. With, really? Yeah. It's, wow. It's made for drag week. It's not a, a true bracket car, so to speak. But, I, I uh, love seeing cars built for this, especially something as ridiculous as this. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's something I seen Larry Larson do years ago, followed it in the magazines, yep. and just had to go and chase it. So what was the uh, what were the things you had to keep in mind when you were building it? Uh, it went through a couple reincarnations. Yeah. Uh, I started it myself with a, a kit from Bickle. Didn't have the time. Had a little bit more fun, so took it to a chassis builder. They had it for almost a year. They did the body and paint, the chassis, and then I took it back home, finished it up, tweaked a few things. Really? And it's, it's basically been about three or maybe four years since I brought it home from the builder. And I built the motor, I made the tranny a three speed, or a four speed from a three speed. Yeah. Trying to sort out the clutch ourselves <laughs> with uh, some help from Kale Aronson. And uh, here we are. Well, you've got the uh, power plant and the cage in here to do some big numbers. What's your what's your goal this week? Goal this week is to finish first. Well, of course. After after that, I'd like to say that we're going to run at least 750 would be a nice number every yeah. day. But if we can sort out the chassis and the clutch early on, yep. it should run a low seven. Well, that's a beautiful car to watch that go down the track. And I'm, I'm going to remember my earplugs every time you run because it's <laughs> you really need them. It's yeah. hard to tell through the video how loud it is, but it's it's definitely loud. Yeah, it's got some noise. <laughs>
Doing some troubleshooting. Just changing parts because I can't figure it out right now. Yeah. Is it breaking up or is it just... Yeah, it's breaking up, but uh, uh, before it hits six grand, it seems like it's almost on the limiter. Or it's just chattering. Huh. You got about an hour. Might be able to sneak one more pass in. Well, worst case, we'll go with the first one, which is an 8.5. Yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. What was your pass yesterday? 7.84. Yeah. Nice to hit that 7 every track, but... Yeah, exactly. How are you sitting in the class right now? We're second right now. Really? That gives you a little more motivation. It's more motivation. <laughs> so the pass isn't the end of the world to make it. If we can, uh, if we can make it happen, then that's what we're going to try. That's to right. Do. Swing for the fence. Yep. Well, good luck. Thank Hope we'll see much. you up there in about a half hour. You bet. <laughs> trouble did you? Yeah, her fell off today. First pass was a 8.5 instead of a, a high 7. Not sure what exactly it is. We went through a few different options. Two more passes. Still not running right. So we oh, uh, basically are just calling it a day. We're out of time at this track. Handed in the 8.50 slip and uh, we'll hope to uh, change it over and make it through the night. Well, awesome. Good luck to you guys. Yeah, we've been running on three hours of sleep for the last three days already. Oh, man. It wouldn't be drag week if you weren't running on, like, barely any sleep, right? Yeah, exactly. Before day one it ever happened, we had the tranny out of the car and put a new gear vendors in it. The tranny checked out, so... Man, this yeah. car is giving you hell. It's okay, though. It's been a long time to get here. And I'm yeah. just glad to be part of it. Well, good. That's the right attitude to have. It's all about having fun, right? Yeah. Another 285 miles to cover tonight. Oh, man. And we'll be in uh, Byron tomorrow. Assembling the most ridiculous roof rack on Drag Week. <laughs> Where'd you find this? Yeah, yeah, I had to build that. Did you? I built that sucker. I, <laughs> I bought what was available, and then I bought the kit to stretch it this way, and instead I cut it all apart and stretch it this way. Oh, nice. So we got two two drive tires in the back, one front beside, and we have enough room to load everything else on. <laughs> trial, you should trial see it from fit. the outside going down the road. Yeah, I Jesus. We passed. Well, we'll see you guys uh, in Byron or sooner. Good, good luck. <laughs> According to the numbers, it was uh, spark plugs. Oh, thank God. That's yeah. a lot easier to fix. Yeah, so just dropped the new set in this morning, made sure it was nice and tight. Uh, I got to change my shirt. Yeah. Mr. Larson, uh, he's been uh, a helper for us here. Oh, yeah. We've been uh, sending him some messages and he's helping troubleshoot as we go and it's perfect. It's back to the simple stuff and it's, <laughs> it's great. To I have can somebody. tell you're taking notes from him. Yeah. Great guy. Doing good. I uh, really appreciate his help in, in getting through this. So we'll see what the punch looks like here. Let's we'll get it cooled off and uh, go from there. Ready? Good luck. <laughs> Third day in a row, I'm here to remind you how ridiculous this looks. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. Feeling pretty good after today? Really good. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna stay and do one more, but uh, have some fun Friday once you get there. Yeah, exactly. Well, if, if things go really good, then uh, might run into the sevens tomorrow and, and Friday as well. Yeah, it should be a good track tomorrow, but as long as the weather's there. You care if I steal your seat for a little bit? Oh, you can Hop in for a few miles. 
What do I need to know? Good luck getting in. Getting out's worse. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've hopped in a drag week car. Let's go uh, enjoy the cruise in the loud, non-air conditioned race car. Street car, sorry. I have no concerns. It's not that bad. It'll be fun to watch the link on the street. When you stop and shut it off, it's just like, <sighs> yeah. not too bad. It's definitely loud. Definitely loud. I didn't realize how loud it was until I took my earplugs out. It's just like rattles you. How fast you get it up to? Uh, about 80 on the way here. What do, you, what do you think about the tires? Yeah, I seen him up there. That's one of the reasons I, was, I had to come up here. <laughs> well, while he's talking to the, the local, I gotta say that was a that was a fun ride. I forgot what it was like riding in one of these crazy contraptions on Drag Week. What how does did, it look how like? was it anyway? I love it. It's awesome. I mean, <laughs> you can ride I love it. I love it for there? I love it for 20, 30 miles, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. What's that? You guys got a YouTube? Yeah. Thirteen twenty video. Where's that? <laughs> how does it look from the outside with the roof rack? I got pictures. Do, do you understand why I pull over every time? Oh, I'm like, this. I know it actually does look pretty cool. Well, thank you for the ride. That was a treat. I appreciate it. Oh, it's fun. It's fun for everybody. Yeah, it is. I could tell. <laughs> Too much power just get out of the groove. It just didn't stick. Yeah. It would I not think, stick. I think it had a tune-up in it. Yeah. Did the shifter bolt fall off before the pass or what happened? We rebuilt this thing last night. And you did? I haven't slept yet, so. Oh no. <laughs> it, it was good when the sucker was standing up. Shift pressures were all good on the towers. Put it in the car, got everything back together, go to double check. And it was not working. Are you serious? I was at five this morning. That's when you found out it wasn't working still. Yeah, still. So, so were you finishing patching it back together in the lanes or did it? No, we did that in the hotel this gotcha. morning. Bob went for a snooze. <laughs> I went and had breakfast and a shower. <laughs> and then back outside. That's all you get. That's all you get. So just the pin wasn't lined up in the channel. Oh I gotcha. But we got it figured out in the lanes. Good thing I know a good mechanic. He's got to find traction now. Yeah, exactly. You try and make another pass? You bet. Good. Thanks. Cool. Noises? Yeah, it's got a knock. I don't know what it is, but 
kind of look at it and see what we got to do. I was telling him, I don't know how you can tell it's knocking when it sounds like it's knocking the whole time. <laughs> that blower's so loud. Hopefully it's something simple. Yeah. Keep it simple, stupid. But I got faith. I get it drove all the way over here, didn't leak, didn't do yeah. funny, so we'll just fix it and keep going. Perfect. There we go. 11960, that's the best we've ever done. Holy crap. Five two and eight. Eight at 132, so I think I was pedaling it for that. Yeah, it was. And uh, 817 at 173. Holy cow. It's got a hell of a tune up in it from Glasgow. Yeah. Uh, him and Bob and Rich have been working on uh, <laughs> tuning this thing since we got here. <laughs> we didn't come with a tune up of any sort other than a race tune for up north. Yeah. So my hat's off to those guys helping me out. It looked crazy. Thanks. Good luck with the knock. Hopefully something simple, man. Yeah, hopefully. I rode with him last night. He drove it back. We had looked at it and stuff. There was a couple, got a couple pieces of exhaust that are broken. Oh. Dragging on the ground. Found your problem? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cracking the tires hopefully. here. Hopefully. We're gonna get this show on the road here. Yeah. A couple, couple cracks. Oh, that's why. This is a weird exhaust leak. One there, one there. Damn. The header was blown out of the collector. Oh. That one there Jeez. cracked all the way through. Yeah. Fix this and put it back together, see what it sounds like. Well, I've, I've been waiting all day to see you, and I haven't seen the car yet. Tell me what happened on the drive last night. Well, we, we were getting ready to pack up and uh, hit the road. It was a late night. You had some crazy passes last night. Yeah. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get it aimed in the right direction without pedaling it. Yeah. Uh, settled for an 812. And they said that there was quite a big gap in the, in the pedaling on that one, so it went <laughs> yes, in like a mid seven. Well, you had it turned up, that's for sure. It, it was great. Matt did a, a great job on, on getting it tuned up for us there. Yep. Um, last pass, heard something not quite right at the top end, shut it off, had a look at it, got it back to the pits, turned out we disconnected the collector from the primary pipes on one header. Yeah, I saw that. And then there was some welds that were broken on the, on the rest of the exhaust. So there happened to be a welder in the area that was fixing stuff. <laughs> it was great. He knew what he was doing. He got it fixed up and put it on the car. And we just carried on with getting the rest of the package kind of road ready. Fired it up and there was a dead cylinder on the driver's side. You could hear it. Oh, uh, no. When, when we left the track, you thought it was just the exhaust leak that was making things sound funny. That's what we were expecting. But yeah. it ended up being worse. Yeah. So from there, we pulled the valve covers off. Number one cylinder didn't look quite right on the rocker. Yeah. Uh, turns out the, the lash opened up enough that it popped the push rod out of the cup, caught it on the edge of the cup, and then overextended the uh, valve into the piston. Oh, man. So I believe the way it ran, we ran it for 15 minutes, leaving the track to go get fuel. And it was just a constant pop. I figured, well, maybe the valve is bent, but it wasn't hurting the piston. Yep. Turns out it was wrong because <laughs> we had uh, pretty, pretty warm temperature on the oil. Yeah. So it didn't like that. We said, well, we could band-aid it and make it here. You don't want to hurt that motor. That motor's too expensive to, yes, to play with that. So we'll take it home. We'll we'll take it apart and build it for another day. Well, there you go. You've had a heck of a week, heck of and a week. you came not knowing exactly what I was going to do and how the tune was going to pan out, yeah. and you ran some, some some good times. Oh yeah. Uh, but <laughs> now you know what it's like. Yeah. Now you know what what it takes to get through this. I kind of expected a lot of it. Yep. And that's why we brought parts with us. Uh, Optima's going to hook us up with a battery. I, I was told. <laughs> <laughs> fix the road kill, fix 20 Perfect. Walmart battery. Perfect. But, you know, same thing, that, that stuff got us through the week, so it's great. We look forward to seeing you next year. I'm sure you're coming back. Oh, we'll have to talk with Shauna, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it might be able to talk when we end up getting it fixed and bring it back. Awesome. Well, it was good meeting you. Thanks. We'll see you soon. It.